At first glance, fighter jets might seem pretty similar to most people. But for military enthusiasts, there are plenty of differences and unique traits in each fighter jet. Not long ago, we released a video comparing two of the world's top fighter jets, the Dassault Rafale and the Eurofighter Typhoon, using the latest insights from 2023. Today, we're diving into a 2024 comparison between these two iconic European jets. Both jets originated during the Cold War era, but their paths to development were quite different. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a collaborative project from the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain. In contrast, France went solo, leading to the creation of the Dassault Rafale. Airbus. The brains behind the Eurofighter Typhoon proudly claims it can handle just about any mission, effortlessly integrating a wide range of European and US weapons. On the other hand, France's Dassault Rafale is known for its impressive combat efficiency and exceptional endurance, so that it's set to remain the country's top fighter jet until at least 2050. So, with all these claims and features, which jet stands out for air superiority? Let's take a closer look. Both the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale are widely regarded as successful projects, standing among the most advanced fighter jets in service today. Their impressive capabilities have attracted interest from countries across the globe, including those outside of Europe. As of early 2024, several nations have expanded their military arsenals by acquiring these jets. Beyond the original Eurofighter developer nations, the United Arab Emirates, Turkey, and Poland are now set to incorporate the Typhoon into their air forces. Meanwhile, Indonesia has also finalized a deal to purchase Rafale jets, joining Serbia in adding this versatile aircraft to their fleets. Countries like Egypt, India, Qatar, and Greece have already integrated the Rafale into their military operations. The fact that so many countries rely on these two jets really highlights just how capable they are. Both the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Dassault Rafale are classified as multi-role fighter jets with stealth features. Now, let's talk about the differences. The Eurofighter Typhoon is the bigger of the two, with a wingspan nearing 11 meters and a fuselage stretching 16 meters. Meanwhile, the Rafale's sleek silhouette, characterized by a slender fuselage measuring 15 meters in length and a wingspan of 10 meters. Design-wise, the airframe plays a crucial role in how agile and effective a fighter jet is in combat. The Dassault Rafale sports a mixed delta wing design that makes it highly maneuverable at both low and high speeds. It also features a front canard, which boosts its agility and control. This setup is why the Rafale is often recognized for its small front wings and aerodynamic finesse. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon uses a distinct delta canard configuration. The canards here enhance lift and maneuverability, while the delta wing gives it a better lift-to-drag ratio. This combo allows the Typhoon to pull off high G maneuvers and stay stable at high altitudes. The engines powering the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale are key to their impressive performance. The Typhoon is equipped with twin-engine Eurojet EJ200 turbofan engines, giving it a maximum climb rate of 315 meters per second and enabling it to reach speeds of Mach 2, even at high altitudes. On the other hand, the Dassault Rafale, with its twin-engine Snecma M88 turbofan engines, has a slightly lower maximum climb rate of 305 meters per second, with maximum speed Mach 1.8. 
A cool fact about the Snecma M88 engine in the Rafale is that, being a newer aircraft than the Typhoon, it benefits from more advanced and updated technology. The M88 features cutting-edge components like integrated bladed compressor discs, low-pollution burners that produce smoke-free emissions, single-crystal high-pressure turbine blades, ceramic coatings, and composite materials. When it comes to armament, these two jets have their own strengths. The Eurofighter Typhoon boasts 27 internal hardpoints, letting it carry a diverse array of weapons. It can handle air-to-air -air missiles like the MBDA Mica and Meteor, plus air-to-ground options such as scalp cruise missiles and various guided bombs. It even has an internal 30mm cannon for close combat. The Dassault Rafale, on the other hand, has around 13 internal hardpoints. It's equipped to carry air-to-air -air missiles like the MBDA AMRAM and ASRAM, along with air-to-ground weapons such as Paveway laser-guided bombs and Storm Shadow cruise missiles. The Rafale also features a 27mm Mauser cannon. In terms of avionics and sensor technology, both jets have some impressive tech. The Dassault Rafale is known for having a top-notch radar system. It's equipped with the advanced Thales RBE-2 radar, which excels at detecting and tracking targets. Plus, it has a full suite of electronic warfare systems to keep it protected and counter enemy threats. The Eurofighter Typhoon has been upgrading its game too. Originally, it used the Euro Radar Captor, but with the Tranche 5 development, it's now fitted with the advanced ESA radars and the new ECRS Mark II radar. This new radar setup enhances its capabilities significantly, supporting RAF operations by enabling high power jamming to disrupt enemy defenses and targeting from a safe distance. As one of the most advanced aircraft of its generation and produced in a region with high manufacturing costs, the Dassault Rafale commands a substantial price. Reports indicate that the Rafale's cost ranges between $100 million and $120 million per unit in its most basic configuration. On the flip side, the Eurofighter Typhoon is priced lower for the EU countries that contributed to its development, costing as little as $50 million per unit. However, its export price is considerably higher. For example, in 2018, Airbus offered the Eurofighter to India at approximately 138 million euros per unit, which remains less expensive than the Rafale. Each of these jets has its own specialties and strengths. One major difference between the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Dassault Rafale lies in their mission types and tactics. The Eurofighter Typhoon is built for air superiority, excelling as an interceptor to protect airspace or engage in aerial combat. It's designed to dominate the skies. On the other hand, the Dassault Rafale is a versatile multi-role fighter, ideal for ground attack missions like precision bombing. It outperforms standard airstrikes and features a unique system to detect and jam radar signals, giving it an edge in electronic warfare. So, while both the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale are top-notch fighters, they each have their own strengths and are suited to different kinds of missions. Choosing between them really depends on what specific capabilities you need. That's all for today, and thanks for watching.